Good morning, WVAR. Outside living trends. Mortgage rates hold steady. Federal District Court upholds NAR's clear cooperation policy, the elimination of the state income tax, and occupational licensing issues. Grab a beverage. We're exceeding the title today. I'm Ray Joseph, CEO of the West Virginia Association of Realtors, and this is your Monday Minute for Monday, February 18th, 2021. On the national scene, interest rates are still holding steady. That's great news for buyers and for the market. A federal district judge granted motions by the National Association of Realtors and three MLSs to dismiss an antitrust case brought by PLS.com, a private listing network based in California. PLS alleged that the association's clear cooperation policy violated federal antitrust law by discouraging listings on its service. In a ruling against PLS, Judge John Holcomb of the U.S. District Court for Central District of California said that antitrust laws were enacted to protect competition, not competitors, and that PLS failed to allege any plausible facts that consumers were harmed. Clear cooperation requires listing brokers who are participants in an MLS service to submit their listing to the service within one business day of marketing the property to the public. The policy was approved by NAR's Board of Directors in November 2019, and NAR-affiliated MLSs were required to implement the policy by May 1, 2020. And good news for West Virginia markets from a national perspective. Homeowners and house hunters are looking to maximize outdoor space while sheltering at home. The National Kitchen and Bath Association reports a 65% uptick in interest among its membership in outdoor living projects this year. This is a perfect market to capitalize on in our state. We need broadband now more than ever. On the state scene, the West Virginia Legislature will convene this Wednesday. Two issues being discussed of great concern to us are the elimination of personal income tax. While on the surface this sounds great, remember the income hole has to be filled. That usually includes sales tax on professional services like your commissions. We'll keep you posted as more develops. Issue two, the elimination or downscaling of occupational licensing. Again, sounds good until you realize it eliminates the need for licensing for out-of-state professionals, meaning they can cross into West Virginia and sell, build, whatever with no restrictions, while the other states don't offer the same ability to our professionals. It all starts Wednesday. Tuesday, the Harrison County Board meets. Wednesday, we'll be recording a video with Mark Mansour and General Counsel uh, for NAR, Katie Johnson, discussing the rationale and issues regarding Standard of Practice 10-5. For viewing later. The Fairmont Board is meeting on Wednesday as well. Thursday, it's finally here. The CE announcement you've been waiting for. A Facebook Live is scheduled for 1 p.m. Thursday. Sign up to watch. The, past, the PAC Task Force will be meeting Thursday as well. Friday, we end the week with another convention committee meeting. Remember, all local boards are encouraged to post local happenings and events on our Facebook page. Just another way for us to stay connected. Let us know if you have anything you want announced on the Monday Minute. Happy birthday this week to Rachel Barrick, Cheryl Nolan, Vimy Walker, Tina Walton, Donya Gamash's hubby Rick, Nancy Williams' son Todd, Aaron Poling, Janice Fouts, Gina Walters, Angela Crawford, Linda Wood, Vicki Veers, Kevin Tenney, Lisa Stinson, Stinson, Gwen Sams, and any other members out there I may have missed. Congratulations to Tom Brady and Tampa Bay on their Super Bowl victory. I hear it wreaked havoc in the commodities market this morning, with corn prices going as high as... A buccaneer. Keep doing what you do and we will too. We're here for you. Make sure you stay connected with us on Facebook and our YouTube channel. Stay involved, stay engaged, and stay safe. I'm Ray Joseph, and that's it for this week's Monday Minute. Thanks for listening.